Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Mini Motorways. This time the games had an update and things work a little bit differently now. But we're going to continue our journey. So last time we got a pretty good score in Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> That's the most British way you could pronounce that. But today we're heading to the Middle East and we're going to try out Dubai. So let's get involved. And great, we start needing a bridge straight away. Cheers game. I'm going to go straight down actually and do that to start. But yeah, so one of the updates that's happened to this game is before traffic would only slow down if they came to crossroads. But now as you saw with that car there, this is only a T-junction, yet it's still slowed down. Uh, so now, unlike real life, I think crossroads might actually be encouraged. So we might be aiming for as many junctions in one area. Even that sort of thing might be good. I assume a roundabout would be better still. Oh god, yellow. Why? Why? Just why? Alright, we're going to come around there with yellow and go straight over there. We are bridging the hell out of everything here. And if you haven't seen this game before, which there are some people, there are still new viewers to the channel. Uh, essentially, this game, you start off... As you can see, different colored houses, let's say the yellows, and you've got to build them a nice little road to the supermarket of their color. I mean, thank you, I'll come again. Now, as time progresses, you get to the end of a week and you get to select an upgrade. Now, as I've used both my bridges and there's still a river going through my entire map, I will select the bridge. However, I have been told by the patch notes that traffic lights have actually been improved, so they could actually be useful now. Uh, but I need a bridge because... I'm pretty sure we're still going to spawn things on either side. Uh, but as you can see, at the moment, I've got the yellow two houses connected to the yellow shop, which looks like a slice of brioche. And then I got this like light bluey color turquoise, I guess. Uh, they're all connected together. And essentially, the longer the game goes on, the more houses and shops you get. And you got to try and manage your traffic and try and prevent journeys building up. So if you can see on this slice of brioche, that is not a raisin. That is actually an upside down shopping bag. And as you saw there, I was shopping, waiting for a customer. It flew into the car, and now the car is heading back to his house, where he'll unload his food into kitchen cupboards, gobble them up. What am I talking about? And then rinse and repeat. Right, so up here, another bluey color has just spawned. Unfortunately, there's no way to get the houses down here up there without a lot of road. So we're just going to have to hope that one house fuels this in the meantime. As the game goes on, the demand at each shop sort of goes up, so you need to add more and more of the same color houses to the shop. And a technique that I've been using quite a lot is sort of segregating all the different colors. So as you can see here, none of our traffic is merging at the moment, like different colored traffic. The game's actually been quite kind to me in that regard. So we've got four different shops, and they're sort of all segregated into their own little road networks, uh, which is really good for reducing traffic. Uh, week two. Again, I'm going to go bridge just because I'm scared of the river and river crossings. So sorry, traffic lights. I will try and try you out at some point, but not for now. I've actually got 50 road tiles. That is a loss of road tiles. I feel like the spawns have just been very kind to me. All right, so if you look down here, this is just upgraded to an IMAX cinema. So the shops, they don't stay square for long. Yeah, as you can see, the yellow is just upgraded to an IMAX cinema as well. Thankfully, we've got more houses. So we can connect those in. And basically, IMAX cinemas, as you can imagine, if you're given the choice, would you rather go to a supermarket or go to an IMAX cinema? Like, think about how big that screen is. Uh, no one's going to choose a supermarket. Hence, we get more houses. We've got to connect them all up because demand is much more. Something I do really want to see is when, like, one of these further out cars go, do they go slow past these driveways? Look who it is! Wait, is that moldy ham or is that a slice of bread? It might just be a slice of bread, actually. I thought it was moldy ham for a second. We have not seen old ham in a long time in this game. That's ham. That's not bread. That is ham. That's like really old ham that's been left out in like 30 degrees sun. Anyway, week three. Oh, and we still don't get to try traffic lights because motorways, as you can imagine in a game called Mini Motorways, they are the key to a top score. So if we grab them. Now we don't need one yet. But a motorway is essentially an infinitely long road that crosses on top of everything. We'll connect you over that way instead, Mr. Yellow. All right, and as that one's in, I might even take this guy down there. So now we've got two houses going to this square brioche and four houses going to the circular brioche. Oh no, we don't have a bridge. We don't have a bridge. This is a problem. Okay, so what we're going to have to do, we're going to connect you that way. We need two bridges because that's an IMAX. That needs more houses connected. Uh, it's nearly the end of the week though. It's Sunday. And when it gets to the end of the week, we get an upgrade. And let's just hope for another bridge or maybe a motorway. I'll take a motorway. Balls. <laughs> uh, traffic lights or roundabout? Oh, 
I want to try the new traffic lights, but I know that a roundabout is more useful. Sod it. Let's do traffic lights. Let's see if they're actually any good. I don't know where we're going to use them yet. I think we'll wait for traffic to build up first. And if you are new to this game and you're wondering how do you lose the game, essentially as these upside down shopping bags like build up, if they sort of fill the shop. So the supermarket can hold six, I think. And the IMAX can hold a bit more, maybe eight, something like that. Uh, once they get completely full, a timer will start. And if you don't sort of get cars there and reduce the timer down, it's game over. Oh, look at this. The game's just so generous today. Connect that house in. We could be on for a high score here. This is going ridiculously well. I feel like if we can get a bridge, I might put the road in already. But if we can get a bridge across here, then we are sorted. Uh, that isn't great though. We've got... An IMAX up there. I'll tell you what, we're just gonna do a bit of that and we could potentially take you upwards as well. All right, it's the end of the week. We've got some purple spawned, but we'll have to come back to that. I'm gonna have to go motorway because although I need a bridge, motorways are so much more useful and we actually need one for this purple. So you can see we got a load of purple spawning here. So if we do that sort of thing and we grab our motorway, plonk it there, then we can just drag up to there and now you can see this motorway one goes over the top of everything so it sort of acts like a super bridge and the absolute best thing about motorways is this boing but yeah so you can, you can move them out the way to see what's underneath that's their main use <laughs> rather than boinging uh, but i'm just going to put that back in straight oh look at this look at this that is not too bad at all this game is very very generous today we got another greeny colored down there. We've still only got one house connected to this supermarket in the middle. A little bit worrying. Ideally, I would just put a bridge in to connect this house to it. But uh, we're going to have to wait. Right, bottom left, we've got a little sneaky pink to connect in. So before the update, say a pink car left this house and went across here. It wouldn't slow down at all for these junctions because they're only T junctions. Uh, however, I'm pretty sure now every one of those junctions, it will slow down. So we might have to sort of rejig that. Uh, but we've also got we got a new moldy ham over there. Uh, thankfully, all the houses are spawning together. So all I'm going to do is just do that. Just extend the road. So these guys have to travel a little bit further. But it uh, should be all good. I want to see this car. Are you going to slow down for that? No. Okay. So they don't slow down for private drives. I think it's just junctions. Uh, week six. This game is so nice. Another motorway. Motorways are really hard to come by occasionally. Uh, but not today. I feel like this could go... I'm going to cock it up, I can tell. <laughs> but uh, for now, game is being very, very kind to me. Uh, right, so we might have to do the world's shortest motorway here. So we're going to go from there over to there. And we're just going to connect all these yellows up like that. I mean, ideally, I'd use just a normal bridge there. But we haven't been given a bridge in ages. Uh, we're getting some ham people moving in down here. So it might be worth motorwaying up to this one sort of on its own. And then leaving those guys connected to the IMAX. I think I might do that. And go up to there. And then delete that. Yes, we have now used our two motorways. Sort of for pointless journeys. But um, I'm thinking long game. Uh, there's a cheeky little green guy down here i'm wondering is it worth taking you as we got so many roads all the way up to there at least until we get a bridge uh, thankfully week seven we got a bridge so let's grab a bridge we're gonna hit pause and just take some time to think about what we want to do now, i'm sort of thinking now we put this road back in like that and then we move motorway three to go over to there and that will allow these hand people to get to this new slice of ham which is spawned next <laughs> there's sort of there's two there's two types of hams going on here if i just move this motorway out of the way we've got like the super fresh ham it's so fresh it's pink and bright and we've got the like five day old out the fridge ham uh this is battle of the ham i wonder which ham will win <laughs> i've lost my mind yeah okay so i think that's better then so Motorway 3, once once these journeys have been made, can you see there's still cars making their journeys? Once they've been made, this motorway will get dug up, and then this new Motorway 3 will be put in. Now, what are you doing there, Mr. Ham? That is the wrong direction completely. Uh, a new green to put in, bottom right, nice. That motorway has been deleted, and it's now over here, and you can see people flooding to leave their houses. They want that moldy ham from the shop. Oh, look, look. Game. It's just spawned a new brioche down there. So we might have to take you guys away. 
and then connect more of you lot up. In fact, this could even be a chance, while it's still early in the game, to move motorway 2 up to here. Now, the downside with this is moving motorway is very dangerous because it allows your upside down shopping bags to stack up pretty quick. Now, week 8, we've already got traffic lights, which we haven't used at all yet. So we're going to go for the roundabout. Oh, and another purple shop. Thankfully, these are all grouped together, so that's pretty good from my point of view. I feel like we might be moving a motorway soon. I, I'm sort of feeling that ham is going to go from a square slice of ham to a circle slice of ham. Like, mark my words, I can see it happening. All right, let's pause, let's pause, because I've just noticed we've got two shops here, but we've only got five houses connected. And we're going to do that. So that's an extra house. So hopefully that should help those. And we'll just do that. We could we could always move an extra house over there as well, if needed. Uh, another yellow there. Connect you in. Greens. Oh, there's a lot of greens there. I'll tell you what, I might put my bridge in. And then I'm going to split these up. So you guys all go that way. The ham has done what I said it would do. So we now got two IMAXs. And I'm pretty sure this is going to get cocked up pretty soon. So motorway three is actually going to go back where it was. And all of these ham people... I'm going to connect them all together and I'm going to bring them round the back here. So let's say we do that. So the hams go straight in. I'm actually going to take these pink guys, fresh ham. They're going around the back just to keep them separated. I don't want too many intermingled hams. Like you don't want to mix good ham and bad ham because it makes the good ham go off quicker. And shove you back up there where you were before. And thankfully, look, we just got a new ham person spawn on this road. So that's perfect because they're even closer to the supermarket than they were previously. And it's the end of week nine. Again, we've already got traffic lights. We've run out of bridges. So we're going to go for a bridge. Uh, we've just hit a thousand points as well. And there's not too much carnage going on. I'm a bit worried about this blue supermarket. There's only one house connected to it. That's my main concern, I think, at the moment. I am going to take that yellow down there. Just so there's an extra house connected to this IMAX. Oh, God, look at this. Okay, so we've got fresh ham up the very top. Ooh, that's a bit tricky. What are we going to do here? I think we're going to max out one of our bridges. So we do have quite a lot of road tiles. So we're going to go across like this. And then we've started building a bridge. We're going to go to there and then diagonal. This is all one bridge. So it's only using up one bit of bridge, which is pretty, pretty handy, if you ask me. And then we just need to decide which houses we want to go up there. So as we've got loads of road tiles, this pink, I'm going to take you that way and connect you in there. So maybe we'll do that and then connect up some of these closer ones. I might even put a road around that house, sort of like preparing for later. Uh, meanwhile up here, a cheeky little purple to go in. And just scan over everything else. I think we're looking good everywhere, to be honest. So we'll carry on and press play. Oh, also this yellow we can actually take these green guys a bit further down and this yellow can come around and connect in there because why not have an extra yellow house connected and it's the end of another week uh, we are going to go with a motorway because although thirsty rotars would be nice motorways are infinitely more useful and it's just a question of do we motorway up to there it is sort of backing up already i am tempted i'm going to see what spawns next though because motorways are pretty useful in an emergency. Right, I feel like this green is sort of cocking up now as well. I'm going to do a crossroads and just connect this green in. Oh god, look. Yeah, I think we're in we're in emergency zone already. Fresh ham is on a time already. God. I think it's worth sort of taking these guys up there. And then we can perhaps involve this guy too. So if we motorway there straight in, delete all of that road. Delete all of that. Then we can connect these guys in to this IMAX. So that's three houses connected. Nice. We could even actually just make this a bit neater. If we delete this road around the back and take it around there. And that's a much shorter route for the fresh ham. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That's way better. And hopefully the timer here will go down. And oh god, why would you do that to me, game? <laughs> Balls. Okay, we've got we've got more moldy ham up top. Uh, ooh, what do we do? We've got a couple of choices. I can see back here, there's a lot of mouldy ham houses not doing a lot. So I'm sort of thinking, if we were to split up, say, from there. But three mouldy ham houses. You go across and straight into that. 
I think that will do. We've just hit 1,500 points as well, which is a pretty good score already. See, I'm worried about these. I'm sort of thinking about getting these guys involved with these two IMAXs. Right, it's the end of another week, week 11. We're going to grab a bridge because we still haven't used our traffic lights yet. Can't really see a good place to use any, if I'm honest. I'm also thinking of splitting up the greens completely. Now I've got an extra bridge. I could take these guys on the right straight up. And these guys on the left can just come across there if I group them all together. And it's week 12. We got, a, we got another motorway. Yes, motorways are useful. All right, this ham is really racking up. I don't really know what to do about it, if I'm honest. Unless we motorway some ham to it. I'll tell you what I can do though, I can make this a lot neater. Let's sort out the purples for now. So now these purples are split up, we've got a load of houses connected to the IMAX and a load of houses connected to these two supermarkets. That allows us straight through with that ham and I can bring this ham down and do that. And then I can decide, because this one's sort of racking up, I could even take you like that. Yeah, so they're all connected, so now we have the option to motorway from it. I, go, I reckon next to that ham, that's going to be purple. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, though. It could be anything, really. It's the end of another week. Traffic lights or bridge? I definitely need a bridge. I'm going to do that. And with this bridge, I wanted to take these yellows and clump them into that supermarket, didn't I? Yeah, I'll do that now. They're connected in. We'll disconnect you lots. So that's two more houses. And then this IMAX, which is getting a bit swamped. We could send that house to the left rather than the right where it was going. There's another ham down here. There's so much ham in this level. Oh god, there's timers. There's purple timers. Okay, we might need a motorway over there. Now the ham down here definitely needs roads and stuff because I've just left that to build up stupidly. You two don't seem to be doing anything. Let's take you two and maybe this one down there. I've left a little strip, so hopefully... A load of ham will spawn in there. But you can never tell. I'm worried about these two timers. I might motorway these purples over. I wanted to save it for an emergency. I think it is an emergency. I'm going to delete that junction. And we're going to roundabout there. With an arm down to there. Our motorway is going to go from there. Onto the roundabout arm. Which means it can fuel both of those supermarkets. I'm just worried. None of them are leaving. Shit. What's happening? What if I delete that? Will that make these guys leave? Yeah, look, now they're all leaving. Now they're all leaving. Go, go, go. Oh, no, that might be game over. Oh, bollocks. I cocked it. I cocked it. Oh, no, we're on for such a good score. Why would you do this to me, game? That was going really well. And then, and then it wasn't. Story of mini motorways. Now we have just unlocked the final level, Mexico City. Yeah, so if you are enjoying my playthroughs, please boost that like button. Let me know. Uh, we came 12,000th in Dubai, which is not very good. But at least we beat the terrible pun of Tanix at the disco. Fallout boy or better. Anyway, guys, peace, love, and bridges. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.